Hello everyone, my name is Jose Oscar Salinas with Unite Christians and Jews. Today's video is about who is the mystery Babylon that I believe it's Rome who rules the United Nations according to the book of Revelation chapter 17. Yet, I turned it into a practice debate with Joel Richardson, host of the Underground, because he teaches that the mystery Babylon is Mecca versus many Bible teachers and I say it's Rome. Nonetheless, I'm hoping many of you will email him because he seems to be a nice guy but has not replied to my emails. Please ask him to reason or debate me for the love of truth and to avoid confusion before the Jewish pe people build the third temple. So I hope you give me a chance to make a good argument before a live debate knowing one of us misunderstood something or listened to a lie planted to distract many from the truth and may God bless you with understanding. In this slide, I'd like to share my presentation front cover in full spectrum that represents the topic from the Luther Bible from 1534 because it illustrates John's symbolic vision of the woman sitting upon a scarlet beast or in plain language, the church that rules the bloody kingdom. And more so because Martin Luther and all the godly Protestants from the 1500s believed that the Roman church was the mystery Babylon during the Catholic Inquisitions that killed hundreds or millions who would not worship the image per chapter 17. Yet, yeah, not only did they believe that, but also he drew another painting illustrating Revelation 18, where I like to add a reminder that God promised to avenge the great city whom the kings of the earth have co committed falsehood and killed the saints because they would not accept the mark of the beast. For that reason, this painting is showing God sending his angels to burn that city down to the ground. And we need to find out who it is so we will not be part of it. With that said, I'd like to show you my presentation outline with seven things I will share. One, identify the meaning of Babylon per Revelation 17. Two, show, show you seven views in one is correct and the others are misunderstanding or lie to distract us from the truth. Three, review seven questions to identify the Babylon, Babylonian secret. And four, compare Babylon religion symbols with Rome versus other views. And five, review Revelation 17. And six, review church history. And seven, reveal the secret religion that worships a Babylon dragon inside their church, which I took many photos and hope to share with you. First, let's look at Revelation 17, five, where we draw this topic from. It says, upon her forehead, meaning in her mind, was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the Mother of Harlots, and the Abomination of the Earth. That has to do with the Babylonian religion, and all we have to do is match which religion matches Babylon. Yet, I'd like to explain that chapter 17 is like a glossary for the entire book of Revelation, especially chapter 13, as an angel showed, shows us who the mystery Babylon is, which mystery means secret, and Babylon means gate of God in the original Academian language. And if we break it up, verse starting with verse 5, 1, mystery suggests it's a city with many secrets and mysteries. 2, Babylon the Great shows that it's a great city with a church that claims to have the keys to heaven because Babylon means gate to God. And three, the mother of harlots implies to a head church of many who worship the Babylonian gods. And four, abomination of the earth tells us that it's a kingdom that broke God's law, killed millions, and corrupted the earth. With that said, I believe that whoever finds the city who worships the goddess of ba the, the gods or goddesses from Babylon will identify the mystery of Babylon, in which I believe it's the revived Roman beast kingdom with two branch government system, state and church, per chapter 13. Which takes me to this slide, showing there are seven views who the mystery of Babylon is. Though one is correct, Others are misunderstandings or a lie to distract us from knowing the truth. The number one view in the world was Rome during the Catholic Inquisitions until they killed 
almost every Protestant who would not worship the image of the beast. And it's not only because the Babylonian king on the relief panel on the left side is pointing at Rome, but for obvious reasons. And yet, number two view might be Mecca because Joe Richardson teaches it and has around 100,000 followers and number three might be Jerusalem because Hank Hennegraaff with CRI and others teach it. Then we have other minimal followers for obvious reasons. Four, Greece, five, ancient Babylon, and six, the United States, and seven, yes, some even say it's Russia, in which I shared in my previous videos, who is the image of the beast that the Democratic Party and the ecumenical churches are blaming Russia for everything only to distract us that it's Rome and the United Nations. Yet, I hope you email, email those in oppositions to reason or debate for the, for the truth to avoid confusion. And if they refuse, I recommend you follow the money. Find out who's supporting them because they're probably sleeping with the beast. Nevertheless, I'd like to set a basic outline for the debate with seven questions that will help us conclude who the Mystery Babylon is. I will give my basic understanding then show lots of photos I took at the Vatican or from my research and let Joe Richardson and others do the same knowing one photo is worth a thousand words. Number one, which, which religion claims to have the keys to heaven of ancient Babylon? I say Many know that the Roman Catholic Church claims to hold the keys to heaven and teach the only way. Number two, which religion worships the same Queen of Hand Goddess from the ancient Babylon religion that made the first temple desolate? I say Rome, but let me show you a comparison chart by the end of this presentation. Number three, which religion worships the same Baal, son of the Queen of Heaven Goddess from ancient Babylon? Same answer. And number four, which religion worships the same dragon from ancient Babylon? In my coming slides, I will show you lots of photos I took. And number five, which religion worships idols from ancient Babylon? Everyone knows Rome worships idols and Jerusalem and Islam does not. Plus Jeremiah 50, 38 describes Babylon, a place who they are insane with idols. That's what it says. And number six, who has similar worship practices from ancient Babylon? I say the Roman priest dress code, especially using the same type of headdressing and practice sacred rites, including offering the wafer bread to the queen of heaven per the book of Jeremiah chapter 44. Seven, who has similar worship symbols from ancient Babylon Rome uses many Babylonian symbols, including the sun, the moon, and the stars of Babylon. Yet, the easiest way to find out who is the mystery of Babylon is to find out who's worshiping the Babylonian sun god, the dragon, and the queen of heaven. I like to repeat the questions, but this time show images. Who is the great mother of harlots that claims to have the keys to heaven? I say the United States implies to be the mother of nations by showing it's the one world government that rules 193 of 195 countries. But if we look at the hundreds of Roman coins, they claim to be the mother church seated, meaning ruling the earth with the keys to heaven. Nevertheless, in, in my Who's the Beast video, I, er, I argue they work together as the revived Roman Empire per the book of Daniel. Second, which religion worships the same Babylonian gods and goddesses? I say Rome, but first we need to understand their symbols by reviewing wall relief panels, boundary stones, cylinder seals, and reading cuneiform tablets that tell us the laws and gods of the land. And what I discover is the key to finding the mystery Babylon is to match Babylonians three chief gods and symbols with the three unclean spirits per chapter 16 3. The reason is archaeologists findings show three deities together most of the time especially on boundary stones 
of the land, which tells us about their gods, in which I like to prove that it's the revived Roman Empire because they use the same symbols, yet I encourage people to match the seven characteristics that identify the mystery of Babylon. For example, one, symbols, two, what they proclaim, three, their character, four, what they're known for, five, their name, and six, their anthropomorphic animal form, and seven, their personifications. And the interesting thing is that the uh, Revelation 16, 3 says, I saw three unclean spirits like frogs coming out of the dragon, referring to three powerful groups. And after my studies, I matched all three Babylonian symbols used by the United Nations, the Roman Catholic Church, and NATO match perfectly that no other great city or government system can match. Yeah, you will have to see how others respond to my findings, especially if you match their seven attributes showing that the eight-pointed star fits inside the United Nation logo, eight points, and the sun cross, and the moon resembles the Roman church logo, and the sun cross fits inside the NATO logo. Yet, Revelation 13 shows that the United Nation represents the first beast called the state, and the Roman Church represents the second beast called the Mother Church, and NATO represents the Northern Army, which, to no surprise, they even name themselves per the Bible, the Northern Atlantic Army, who will attack Jerusalem in the last days. Another point that makes it convincing is that the characters of these three unclean spirits, the United Nation offers Pax Romana, a fake peace, and the, the, the false prophet uh, is a deceiver and murderer, especially during the Inquisition periods, and NATO is a war bully ready to war against those who do not obey the beast's kingdom. And in this slide, I'd like to ask, who matches the three Babylonian god symbols other than the Roman church? By using a boundary stone and a Roman church entrance, the star of Ishtar, the moon of Sin, the sun of Bel, the dragon that represents Satan per the book of Daniel, chapter 7, 4, saying that it was a lion head with eagle wings. And what great city matches the Babylonian patterns or ornaments that I notice inside many of the basilicas when I travel to Rome. And with this image, what great city matches the Babylonian religion? One, I say Rome because they worship the same Babylonian Queen of Heaven goddess per the book of Jeremiah 44. And two, because they worship the same incarnated son of the Queen of Heaven, in whom they call Dum Dumusi or Tumus, yet Rome calls him Jesus, but most people know it's a different Jesus from the Bible. And I will argue there is only one city that fits this cylinder seal without blinking an eye. And with this stone relief, one, which great city wears the same priestly headdress with two ear flaps? And two, who wears the Rosetta stone or Rosette symbol or image on his forehead associated with the Queen of Heaven? And three, who wears a similar type of sun cross necklace? And four, who uses similar symbols for the steel relief panel on the left side? I say Rome as we see the Pope wearing her image on her, his forehead, which somehow connects with chapter 17, 5, describing the mystery of Babylon, saying upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, referring to a religion that secretly worships the Babylonian gods, and that is why they call her the Great Harlot Religion. This image shows a similar religious headdressing with two fishtails, though the main question, which great city matches the Babylonian priesthood dress, dress code? I say Rome.
for obvious reasons that the Pope is wearing a similar headdress. Yet there are hundreds of things I can make the connection in a future book. Yet I like to share this is a magazine I purchased the year 2000 when I flew to Rome as an undecided Catholic going to a Christian Bible college searching for truth. At that time I just finished my first year and I didn't understand many things other than I had a dream to go to Rome and God was going to show me things people need to know. Yet I didn't know exactly until I arrived. Yet one thing that bothered me for the longest time was when I read Revelation 13.4. They worship the dragon who gave authority to the beast, saying, Who is like the beast or able to make war with him? Then when I was in Rome, I saw it. So in the next few slides, I will share what I saw and gave, and gave me the passion for studying for 20 plus years, which we need to ask everyone, which great city worships the Babylonian dragon? Then I believe you will conclude who the mystery Babylon is. Nevertheless, I will show you a handful of photos for the sake of time. Basically, I flew to Rome during the Jubilee ce celebration, and I saw this grand basilica people would talk about with great amazement. But when I arrived, but when I came up close and looked up, I noticed a dragon above the entrance. And as you can see on the right side, there's a close-up photo of the dragon, which I shook my head and said, this is not good. Then I proceeded to enter the Vatican, but then I looked up again at the top of the tall doors and I saw dragons on each side of the doors as if they were guarding the Vatican. Yet as a Catholic, I was taught it was the holiest place on earth. And when I got home, I researched the dragon that's that led me to the Babylonian dragon guarding the Ishtar gate. This slide shows the reconstruction Ishtar gate at the Pergamos Museum in Berlin, named after the Queen of Heaven, goddess of love and war. They had 121 lions with eagle wings lined up on both walls called the processional way as guardians of the city, yet the dragon and the horned calf god at the main entrance symbolizing the strength of Babylon. Then I found an inscription on a stone about a Babylonian king who worshipped the dragon that said, I am king of Babylon, the favored of Marduk. To Marduk the dragon, my lord, may the temple which I have built endure for all time. And as I continued my research, I found the temple the king of Babylon built for the dragon, wishing his image would stand forever. And what struck me was the Vatican had to be the mystery Babylon everyone is trying to confirm, especially seeing the same dragons on or inside the Vatican and the same queen of heaven as the Babylonians. Nevertheless, back to the Vatican. As I walked around seeing thousands of people giving glory to this place full of idols covered in gold and precious stones while I kept seeing dragons everywhere I turned. Then I saw Pope Gregory XIII with the dragon below his feet. And again, I researched him and found a Babylonian king with the same dragon below his feet. Then I saw the connection between the Pope and the Babylonian dragon, keeping the king's wishes to worship the image of the dragon forever. And with further research, I found the Pope coat of arms, honoring, the, honoring and crowning the dragon, plus hundreds of coins with coronated dragons. Yet, what concerned me more is that why are some churches not selling books nor Bible colleges warning us about this nor telling us about the evil popes who were part of the inquisitions around the 1500s that tortured and killed millions, confiscating their properties and starving people to death who, would, who could not buy or sell unless they worshiped the image of the Queen of Heaven. Furthermore, 
I saw a wall freeze painting with two women making a peace or sacrifice off offering to the Babylonian dragon. And I researched and found a Neo-Babylonian stamp seal showing a similar altar. Yet I found the Vatican painting strange because it has a veil over the dragon as they plan to unveil him or keep him a secret. Because if you could only imagine when people share my video, many people will leave the Catholic Church. Furthermore, I found the Babylonian dragon on walls and above hallways throughout the entire Vatican and palace of the Pope. For now, I will show you this last photo that shook me the most out of hundreds I took where I saw two angels coronating the dragon inside the most holiest chapel built around 1582 to what they call Lord. Nevertheless, the Babylonian dragon is above the uh, Gregorian organ I, and I plan to create additional vi videos explaining that I flew back to Rome the following year to take additional photos because I was so shocked for a whole year and I met many priests including bishops with two who I dialogued for months but he said they could not discuss this matter. Furthermore, I spoke with a Catholic apologist who told me he didn't have the answers other than that the Pope is infallible and must have a good reason, implying to the coronation dragon, and I just thought to myself, how convenient is that? Now we'll break up chapter 17 in short verses. Though I encourage people to look at my video that helps you understand the book layout on your own. Basically, it's divided into three divisions, seven warnings, seven judgments, and seven details. The first division has seven letters for the pastors to prepare the saints for what's about to happen. The second division is the seven seal judgments because they did not listen not to accept the mark or laws of the Roman beast. The third division are the details of the judgment. For now, I will focus on chapter 17 in short verses with 18 questions we all need to answer, then see the seven secrets that identify the bloody Roman Empire, the state that protects the church. Starting with verse 1, paraphrase using literal terms and hope you will read the entire scripture and see it if it even sounds logical. One. Who is the city who rules many people? Two, who are the 192 United Nations of the earth who committed falsehood with the church? Three, who seduced intoxicated people to accept the false doctrines? Four, what Gentile nation was John carried to where God would test his people? And five, what church did John see ruling, ruling the bloody beast state who killed millions during the inquisitions and instigated all the wars? Six, who is full of lies using false Christian name seducing a different doctrine? And seven, who rules on seven literal hills? And eight, who... who or what ten horns unite to force people to accept the laws of the United Nation in the last days? 9. Which church or state uses peace, love, hope, works to attract people to join the Roman Church and the United Nations? 10. Which church or state holds a golden cup full of falsehood? 11. Which church has broken all Ten Commandments and created false doctrine? 12. Which church has in her mind the laws of Rome contrary to the laws of God? 13. Which church is the secret Babylon claiming to have the keys to heaven? 14. Which church is the great mother of harlots or false church that worships another god and 15 which church is called the great and why maybe because she's the biggest 
religion in the world and has so much power. 16. What church and state committed deception and corrupted the earth? And 17. Which church killed millions of saints from 325 to 1945 for 1600 years from when she came as a lamb during the ecumenical councils and then turned into a dragon during the Holy Roman Empire and crusades and inquisitions and now we hear her on the news instigating World War III because Russia will not worship the image of the Roman Mary for Revelation 13 and 18, who marveled with great amazement, John did, and everyone in the world when they find out that the Roman church is worshiping and coordinating the Babylonian dragon inside the Vatican. Now, verse 7 and 8 is an introduction. The angel will tell us the interpretation of the entire book of Revelation that includes the seven secrets that identify the bloody Roman Empire. Seven says, I will tell you the secret of the church and of the state that protects her, which has seven heads and ten horns. And eight says, the beast kingdom is not yet and will arise out of the four Gentile nations, per 13, and go into hell, yet Many will marvel when they see the Roman beast that was and is and yet is. Basically, verse 8 is telling us that up to 90 AD, the kingdom had not begun ruling the world when John wrote this book. And these are the seven secrets so we can identify the bloody beast kingdom. One, seven heads are seven hills on which the church and state rules. Two, seven kings are seven kingdoms, five have fallen up to 90 AD, and the sixth and the seventh is the eighth, referring that it's the same kingdom, it only changes names. Three, ten horns are ten united nations that unite with Rome in the last days. Four, one, one mind are ten united nations who unite with Rome to make war with the godly. Five, many waters are people from many nations that the United Nation rules. And six, harlot is the false church and United Nations who the ten nations will turn on and hate because of her corruption as we're seeing Russia come out of her and other countries will follow suit. And seven, women or woman is the great city Rome who rules over the kings of the earth and the United Nations. Yet, please write a comment if these four scripture slides help determine the mystery of Babylon or did the first group of slides showing images. Now as I'm ending, I'd like to show some last images to prove some points. While many teachers have different views on the seven hills or seven mountains, I like to share what I found, starting with this map. Revelation 17, 9 says, Seven heads are seven literal hills on which the church and state rules. So for those who study history, this makes lots of sense. Or let's look at four additional items that confirm mountains refer to literal hills or ruling nations of the world. Both suggest the same thing as a world government or a goddess whose personification is the city ruling the nation. Starting with Ninhursag, one of many Babylonian mother goddesses, literally means Lady of the Sacred Mountain, Su suggests she is se seated on, on a throne ruling many nations from where she sits. Same example as we see a coin of Emperor Vespasian, 71 AD, and his image, the goddess Roma, seated on seven literal hills. Or we can make the connection of the Roman Mary standing on top of the world, suggesting she is ruling the world in the eyes of the Roman Catholic Church. Nevertheless, I travel to 10 countries 
biggest museums trying to find something solid that could clarify verse 9. And I believe any of these uh, of these signify Rome is the mystery Babylon, not to mention other findings I wrote in my coming soon book on Revelation. Yet, we need to see how others reply to my conclusion. Now let's use church history to discover who the mystery Babylon is. While some claim that the mystery Babylon is Mecca or Jerusalem, I say we need to be careful because you're triggering a war with Islam or hate or hate with the Jews with or without intent to deceive or distract from the truth. So let's ask everyone, which bloody beast kingdom has killed millions because they would not worship the image or accept the laws of the kingdom? One, the Roman pagan, uh, pagan empire killed millions from 63 BC to 312, then died away. Two, the Roman empire was revived under the Catholic church, which tried to deceive millions during the ecumenical councils in 325 to worship the image that caused division between the Eastern and Western Orthodox Church. And I have warned people that the Russia and Ukraine war is connected with this period. Three, nevertheless, the Byzantine Empire made Catholicism the state religion and forced millions to worship the image of the beast or die. They, and people could not buy or sell unless they honored the Catholic Church or worshiped the Roman Mary. Four, then the Pope led the Holy Roman Empire from 753 to 1806, massacring millions. And then five, then Pope led the Holy Crusades from 1095 to 1270, killing millions of Muslims and everyone who got in the way. And six, the Pope led the Holy Inquisitions from 1100 to 1834, torturing and killing millions and confiscating their property that led to their riches. And seven, yet many are not aware of their involvement in World War I, World War II, and now eight, World War III against the Russians again. P please listen to the news as I'm warning you all that after this campaign, they're going to try to force us to accept the United Nations 2030 laws according to the Bible. Then they will go against Israel. The point to this, check out my other videos on how I show that the Roman church instigates and the state declares war. And we must be ready for Reve um, Revelation 20 verse 8 called the Gog and Magog War, where Rome leads his three allies to a place called Armageddon in Israel. Yet, my other videos show that many of the statues at the United Nations building reflects to the mystery Babylon. That is why they took down the statue of what they called a guardian for international peace, because people complain that it resembles Babylon. And to no surprise, if you compare them with Babylonian images, they do. However, I like to conclude that the mystery Babylon is the kingdom with a church and state who worships the Babylonian gods and dragons in secret per Revelation 17. But my main concern is that the United Nation images or image is leading the world toward, towards a false pax and the dragon of Babylon is the protector or the guardian exactly what the United Nations said that connects to the mystery Babylon. Though I will end this by saying we really need to clarify the mystery Babylon and discover the mission of the Pope per the United Nations website because Revelation 20 verse 8 tells us that Rome will lead the United Nations into war in which this painting gives us a vivid picture who is the secretive church and state that protects the harlot per Revelation 17.7. Uh, With that said, I'd like to remind you that today's presentation was part one of who is the mystery Babylon church, and I tied it as a practice debate in hope you will email those who teach Rome is not. Nevertheless, 
I have so much more to share in other videos, so please pray for my ministry that focuses on uniting and teaching difficult scripture that some misunderstand or false teachers hinder from knowing the truth. Still, I'd like to thank you all for listening and, write, and writing comments that help me create better videos. And please, if you like this presentation, one, give me a like, two, hit, this, hit the subscribe button to get notified of my next video or schedule event, and watch the next video that identifies the beast and prepares you for the third temple. And three, support my ministry to make better videos and I will send you one of my charts. And lastly, I pray that God gives you understanding, wisdom, and boldness for the love of God and truth that gives us hope in heaven. God bless.